Woohoo! Look at this Todd Fun project. More about this in this coming episode. Well, if everything goes to my eccentric plans, I will have a self lighting hockey rink with mood lighting and Bluetooth speakers before winter. <laughs> Hi, welcome to ToddFun.com, where I do what's fun. Today is a 2019 fall update on uh, what I've been working on uh, for the winter months, because here in North Dakota, the winters are long and, uh, and you need stuff to do. So let's take a look at what I'm doing. I have constructed a ice rink, a hockey ice rink, if you will. And uh, it's 60 <coughs> by 60. We've laid down plastic. Uh, it's four and a half mil plastic. I had the plastic. I had a couple of rolls of 100 foot by 20. And uh, I just uh, stretched them out. And I used, uh, I think they were like four, four and a half inch, maybe five inch staples. They're landscaping staples. And they're, uh, they look like big staples really. And I just pounded them in the ground and tucked all the corners in and folded them over, double layered. And then, to hold the lights, um, let me go ahead and turn them on. So that's kind of spectacular. I have a uh, wireless remote that works from the house and I can turn on the lights. And I don't know if that shows up on video. We'll show it here at night later, but the lights are on. And uh, you can't really see it in the daylight, but yes, there's lights on the plastic. I have what are called fairy lights. They're underwater uh, LEDs at 12 volts, uh, low voltage, and they're made to be waterproof to go in koi ponds and stuff. I have six of them stretching all over the place, and we'll see that better tonight, uh, which will light the ice. <laughs> the uh, These are like LED... Uh, uh, they're just, they, they look like Edison, Edison old Edison bulbs. Uh, but they're LED. They're like they got the cob LEDs in them, and uh, and there's uh, uh, s how many strands did I get? Uh, six strands that go all the way around. And there's a cable. I have a cable system that goes all the way around, and uh, and that holds all the lights up. And we'll see them better tonight in some footage. These poles are just gas pipes. I put uh, a five footer, three feet in the ground, and then I put a coupler and then a 10 footer coupled on top of that to make it easy to erect. And then I put hooks at the top. I just drilled and put eye loops at the top uh, so that we could hang the cable. And the cable is just for strengthening. And uh, then the electricity comes down and goes and gets power from the shed here because the shed has power. That's what this is for. And this interestingly, I got one in each corner, opposite corners. It is a fuse box, but I've taken all the fuse guts out of it. And when you open it up, you have three of those fairy light underwater, that's the under ice now, controllers. And uh, one of these controllers controls all six strands. You do have to open the door to control them. Um, but you can do like 60 different patterns. But if you don't have their controller with you, you can hit these buttons and one at a time and, and cycle them through the... I don't know if it's 30 or 60 options. I think it's like 60, 30 options, but each option has multiple features like speed and racing and, and stuff. And then there's one on the other side over there um, as well because the fairy lights come from either side. Six 80 foot strands. And then on the back of these uh, fence posts essentially is what holds this up. Uh, I put duct tape around it to seal the holes. And then there's uh, it was one of those uh, hooks you put in the ground for like plants or something. And uh, that shepherd hook there uh, comes down here and interestingly enough hooks over top and just short of touching the door here. <laughs> and that uh, goes down inside inside the back of the post. And then I got a couple of screws holding the, holding the box up. And uh, yeah, I did put the orange paint on some all these poles because they, uh, they don't want to hit them with the snowmobile or anything. Uh, so what's the shepherd hook for, you ask? Oh, by the way, there's where the LEDs come out um, from under the ice. 
there's conduit that goes dug down and the conduit goes down and the conduit comes up here I did spray it too and that way once the ice covers this and freezes there's no way you could hit the fairy lights under the ice you know if you had wires coming out and going across the ground you'd hit them with a shovel or or the quad I'll be using the quad to clear the ice that's 60 by 60 it'll take up quite a bit of snow removal so yeah I'll use the quad to clear it um, but I do have a push shovel for doing light dustings and stuff like that. This is a fire ring. I uh, had some extra hay bales or straw bales. Put it around the fire pit. I have some extra wood, place to sit. And this, of course, will be not only for the snowmobiles, but when you want to have ice skating, uh, you just uh, use this as a warming shed. Oh, the shepherd hooks. Yeah, sorry. That's uh, where a Bluetooth speaker hangs. And there's one shepherd hook on each side. There's another shepherd hook on top of that one over there. And you, I've got these Bluetooth speakers that link up to each other and you just uh, play your music over one of them and they sync up to each other and play the same music on either side of the rink. Uh, but you do have to bring them up and hang them up. Okay, so on the shepherd hook I have hung one of the Bluetooth speakers. They do have lights on them. Um, they play quite loud if you set them up. Uh, they're rechargeable, they run for about eight hours. Um, that way they don't have to be plugged in and I can keep them in the house at night. Uh, you just come out and hook them up and uh, they'll sync to a second one. So this is the second one. Um, there's the name brand. They work spectacularly well. Um, they're quite heavy. Um, I, do the, I, do, I did see a YouTube review of them so I won't do that. You can search for that if you want. I got it on Amazon. I'll put a, show, I'll put a link in the show notes if you want to order them. Um, they come in a pair. Uh, and yeah, they all, they with this one on the other shepherd hook on the other side, they do link, they sync up perfectly well. And uh, you get the same exact, you know, almost like a stereo sound across this whole rink. Uh, so let's take a, let's take a good look at it at night now. So this is the night. Um, the lights are up. The warming shed is fired up and warm. The under ice lights are all lit. Just have to start pumping well water on it. About 6,000 gallons. And I'll have about three inches of ice, I think. Then I can always top it off a little bit just to clean the ice up once in a while during the winter. Just using the well pump. Okay, here's an update on uh, filling it. Uh, it is 14 degrees out. As you can see, it snowed a little. It is definitely cold enough to start freezing. What I have here is uh, the well on our property. It's got about a th three foot across cement culverts that go down about 16 feet. And I lowered a three quarter horse sump pump down in there onto a onto some PVC pipe, one and a half inch PVC pipe. Um, and so then when I want, that way I've got no check valve at the bottom, so this will drain back down to where it won't freeze in the winter. And then this downhill slope PVC will drain. So nothing will freeze on me with this situation. Anytime I want to resurface the ice, I just plug this in and let her resurface the ice. Now I have about 60 feet of this PVC pipe with rubber couplings. That way I can, uh, when I'm not really going to fill the ice, fill the rink at any time, I can just, uh, I can uncouple them and put the pipe away. And right now, as you know, there's plastic down and uh, I'm pumping at about, uh, it measured out about 40 gallons a minute and I got to do about 6,000 gallons but because there's lap joints I got uh, this uh, plastic is about 20 foot wide sheets by 60 foot sheets and uh, there's lap joints where it does leak past and so I'm filling up a little bit each day and then letting it freeze good so it quits uh, seeping and then I'll fill up a bit more and uh, let it freeze again. So if you put a whole bunch of, of uh, water that's coming out of the ground fairly warm, it will just, it'll just all seep away. But uh, yeah, it should, uh, should be a few days of doing this, a little bit at a time, and it should freeze up nice. What do you think, Phoenix? Huh? Good idea? Well, it's a crisp three degrees out today, January 7th. Uh, we have quite a nice field device. Alex is out there with Phoenix doing some puck work. Wow, turned out really nice. 60 by 60. 
Got a hockey net over there. We're getting another one for the other side so we can kind of play across the rink with a little one-on-one. -on -one. Phoenix just loves chasing the puck. Okay, this is just a, a look from up on the roof just so you get a downward view. We'll take another look here when it gets dark out and the, the ice has under ice lighting. We'll see that too. That would be nice. And then I'm converting, I'm making a mechanism to hook up to the quad there. Uh, which would be another video that will be 40 gallons sitting on the back of that quad there of hot water and then a spray bar with a towel. So I'll essentially own a Zamboni. And that's, uh, that blade is what I use to clear the, clear the ice of snow. Okay, it is now the night time. Those are the, uh, the lights above are Edison style uh, LED cobs. They do very little, like two watts a piece, so it lights the rink very nicely. And then the lights underneath are the uh, Koi Pond or Fairy Lights, 12 volts, uh, running off the transformer. Everything, everything is hooked up to uh, uh, GFI or ground fault circuit interrupt. That's my son Alex doing a little one-on-one -on -one with Phoenix. His, his gold. Golden Retriever pup. She's about six months old. She loves chasing the puck. And uh, I think it worked out really good. I really like the under under ice lighting. We change the colors once in a while. Right now we just have it on a random uh, switch pattern. But we can change them to solid colors or, or whatever. It's really nice. Okay, I'm up on top of the warming shed. So you can kind of see all the different lights. Yeah. <laughs> well, <laughs> sure was fun. But that's it. That's the ice hockey rink for 2020. And uh, the next video is going to be on making a Zamboni for, for resurfacing it. Say bye, Alex. Bye. <laughs> well, uh, hope you like that uh, ice rink. Um, well, it worked out pretty well. It's a lot of fun. I uh, love playing hockey. Uh, if you were interested in how I build my um, Zamboni out of my quad, uh, that'll be the next video. Uh, so click, subscribe, and uh, see you in the next video. Bye.